Hey, it's Ken here from OK Portugal with some of my favorite girls in the world. Uh, we've got Your very favorite. Very favorite. We have Gina, of course. Hello. And we have my sister, Olivia. Hi. She's visiting all the way from America. And today is not the episode that I wanted to actually film. Uh, as some of you may know, our dog passed away last week. Uh, it's been exactly a week to the day. And um, I wanted to do like a memorial episode, like we wanted to um, almost do a celebration of his life. And we realized that we've got so much footage and we've got so many memories that it's going to take us a little while longer to compile this. Um, but instead of that episode, my sister and I are going to go on a little bit of an adventure. And uh, Jean is going to go back to the farm. Drink tea and eat rusks. She's going to drink tea and eat rusks. I got her some rusks from South Africa. <laughs> I can't, I, rusks. I can't wait to go home and try some of those. But um, yeah, and Livy and I are going to do a little bit of an adventure. I mean, you've come all the way here. Yeah. So let's do something cool. Yeah, off-road. Yeah. <laughs> right, bye Gina. Have fun. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Livy has got this beast of an e-scooter <laughs> for the adventure today. And uh, yeah. I'm going to be going on an e-bike. Olivia's not very happy that she has to wear this helmet. No, come on. <laughs> she's, she's not happy because, you know. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> We were given this amazing e-scooter from a company called Vala. And uh, basically Vala make some of the fastest and some of the best e-scooters in the world. This one over here ranks up in the top of the fastest e-scooters. Um, it's basically got these very powerful motors inside the hub. So it's got these little hub motors, one in each wheel. So it's two wheel drive. It's got a thousand watt motor in each one. So there's 2000 watts of power with a maximum power of 3600 watts. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, it's got major suspension, as you can see on the, the sides here. And today we're going to be taking this thing off-road. It's not set up for off-roading because it's got these road tires, but I think it'll do quite a good job up in the mountains, which are just in the background here. And I'm using a GoPro, so the lens is going to kind of, it's a wide angle lens, it's going to squash everything down. But we've got these mountains here called the Gardunha, and it's a huge mountain range uh, in central Portugal. It's 800 meters up to the top, and uh, we're going to give it a go. So we've just spent about half an hour trying to set up these cameras. I've got yeah. a GoPro just on the handlebars here and we've had to use like cable ties and stuff. Hopefully it's going to be secure enough. We've got, we're going to have beautiful shots going right up right Livy's up nose. nose. Livy <laughs> loves, loves those nose shots. Hey Livs. Um, and uh, I wanted to get another camera mounted, but I didn't bring the mounting to set another camera up. So we're going to have to make do yeah. with these two. And for filming, I'm going to be on this e-bike. I've managed to get all my camera gear just on the side here, which is really handy. It's got one of these little cargo rails. This is another bike. This is called a, a Hemiway Zebra. So this is going to be my mode of transportation. And Livy is going to be on this thing. All right, so we're hitting the trails now. Livy's quite far ahead. Wow. <laughs> so I'm really used to riding e-scooters in the city, but this is the first time I've ever gone off-road. This trail is very sandy you might be able to hear the slippy the slippiness but even though it's got road tires there they're doing pretty well i've been really excited about riding the scooter since before um, i even arrived ken told me that he had it and i was hoping i'd get to review it because i i ride them a lot um, in the city and this is the first time that I'm going off-road and it's really fun. So my sister Livy has been living in America for the last couple of years. I think you said it was like 16 years or something. Yeah, it's been a while. Lived all over the States. Yeah, and this is the second time that she's going to have visited Portugal basically. So she's never been up the, this mountain. It's going to be a first for you. Man, it is so hot today as Ken told you and I wish I was wearing my cap, but he insisted that I wear this helmet. Um, <laughs> so it is beating down on me, but you know, safety first. Yeah, so the last thing I want is Livy uh, falling over and draining herself on the ground. So she must wear a helmet, of course. Now, I don't really have that much experience riding on uh, e-scooters. In fact, I've only ever really ridden on them once before when I was in Lisbon. I did like this Lisbon City Life vlog. And what I found is that it's really difficult to ride a scooter and film like what I'm doing now. So if you've got one hand on the handlebars, I'm obviously not good enough to do that. So that's why Livy is uh, doing all of the scooter riding today. And I don't know if the camera is really picking it up, but we've got some really steep bits here and uh, it seems to be doing it no problem. Yeah, she's whizzing up there. In fact, I'm finding it 
a little bit more difficult on an e-bike to go up there. I'm definitely having an easier time than Ken. <laughs> I'm quite impressed, even though there are road tires on this scooter, it's handling this very slippery sand quite well. I don't know if you can hear the, how slippy it is, um, but I feel quite safe on it. I'm really chuffed. So we're having a little break underneath a beautiful old cork oak tree, getting a nice gentle breeze blowing past. And uh, it's absolutely stunning here right now. Jeez. Now we've already climbed quite far. I'm not sure if you can see, but just in the distance, that's the Marateka, which is that big lake, which is quite close to our farm. Our farm is kind of at like the foot of the mountains there. And everything's looking so green, I can't believe it. I mean, it was the first day of summer yesterday. And look how green it is up here. It's really amazing because normally it's like all dry and dusty. All right, so I think we should go a little bit further. There's actually something cool that I want to show you. Um, I'm sure some of our viewers that have been watching before have seen some of these ruins before, but it's going to be your first time. Yeah, I want to check out that ruin. Yeah. I'm desperate to actually have been sitting in the shade long enough. So I'm not sure exactly what this was for. I think it was some kind of like maintenance cottage for like the woodcutter or something like that. But as you can see, it's all in ruin, but it's pretty cool to come up here and have a little poke around. So we've climbed pretty high already and um, it wasn't that difficult. Can you imagine how amazing it would be to be living in this house, yeah. looking at these views every day? Yeah. Yeah. Now I've been up here a couple of times, but every time I come, I always have to stop and have a little poke around. I love these old granite Portuguese buildings, these huge granite stones. I so cool. I love investigating abandoned buildings. I wonder if it's possible to buy one of these buildings I mean, I'm not sure if they're even for sale or if they're like government buildings or something. But I mean, this is like the most amazing renovation project. And like the views out here are just absolutely incredible. I mean, from here in the background there is the lake. Do you think um, this looks like the remains of a chimney? Do you think maybe the kitchen was here? Yeah. I mean, I think even then it was probably just a chimney and uh like a fireplace or something i don't even know if they would have had like a major kitchen it would have just been some cabinets and things well i'm kind of wondering which part was the main house because i'm seeing these big doors up here and do you think it was like a double story definitely yeah okay. you can see the holes in the wall here where the floor joists were oh so it was definitely double story so how do we get up there i think there's a staircase just on the other side here okay yeah it's all overgrown with like brambles and everything <laughs> I reckon this is a garage, yeah. So this is like a garage huh. space. Even a little doorway. So it's probably not that old. I doubt it's that old, but it would have been, you know, a lot of the buildings here are built out of granite, even if they're only like 50 years old or so. Yeah. And then there's stairs, but I'm not going to go up those. They're completely uh, covered here in the brambles. Yeah. And look at that huge gap under there. Like there was a big door. Yeah. Yeah, it's all completely over covered with these brambles. Oh, I wish I could get up there. Mm. Well, there's another building and it's much more accessible. Is there another door on the other side? There, well, there's another building and it's even better than this one. Oh, okay. We should do it. Yeah. So much fun bouncing on this thing. Yeah. So the two scooters that I have, um, I do all my grocery shopping and stuff. One is really small, folds up, can get it on the bus and stuff in case it rains. And that's an Anokim. Um, fabulous scooter but my favorite one is the wide wheel pro i got the it's got really wide wheels but and it's solid as as it as it comes but it has no suspension neither of my scooters have suspension because i i kind of opted for light scooters so i can easily pick them up if i need to so this is i've always wanted to ride a scooter like this i've always wanted to go off road and just enjoy the suspension it's phenomenal I'm so lucky to have this right at the foot of my farm. I come up here quite often, uh, but last year I wasn't really up here that much. We had this massive heat wave, and obviously coming up here during a heat wave is like brutal. And today is like, as I said, 34 degrees. Next week it's going up to 39 degrees. And uh, so I think this is the last time that we're gonna be coming up here for, what, at least a week. This is one of the things I love the most about living where we live is just having all of this nature around us, being able to do these things where you, you know, don't have to spend money. Like when I lived in England, everything that you did, you had to pay for. And this is pretty much free. You know, you can walk up here, you can cycle up here, you can take e-bikes, you can do all of that. But I mean, if you walked up here, it's not going to cost you anything. Just bring some water and, uh, yeah, 
Amazing. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that. So I'm a little bit nervous about uh, going downhill. These, these um, you know, to get home, these hills are really steep and the sand is really slippery. Um, but I have a feeling that the scooter has features that I've never used before, that I don't know about for off-roading that could make that a lot easier. I guess I'll just have to ask Ken when, when the time comes. And I just love all of these big granite boulders. I mean, look at those. Now there's something very cool that I want to take her to. I think she's going to really love it. I don't think we're going to go all the way up to the top today because it's starting to get really hot now. But uh, yeah, stay tuned to see where, where we're going to go. It's pretty cool. So just in front of us here is another ruin. You, and you guys who watch my channel a lot have probably seen this ruin before, but I, I definitely... Yeah, exactly. I definitely have to stop here and let Libby have a little poke around. I don't know, I think it's like a basement or something. But I'm not sure why it's like that. I don't know if they had like stairs or something. Crazy. Yeah. I wonder if there was like a, a granary or something, something under there or... Yeah, definitely some kind of storage. Do you know if this was a house or more of a utility building? I actually don't know. I'm sure people are going to tell us in the comments. Yeah. But we can see we had like another level up there as well where the floor joists are. Cute, the cobbles, the stones are in the, I know. In the wall there. I love the stonework on these old buildings. Oh. And look through here, look through this window. It's the most perfect little cottage. Oh my gosh. I mean, wow, imagine if you can buy lake. this. Imagine if you can buy a cottage like this and have these views. It'd be incredible. I mean, the only problem is you've got this public sort of dirt track coming right past, and obviously there's going to be lots of hikers and walkers and things like that. So, probably not the most private. Well, I'll be able to visit you if you give me the scooter. Yeah. You know, I can live here, scoot down. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. We just need to get you some fiber broadband and, uh, yeah. Yes, I do need to be able to make money. Exactly. Yeah, and then there's a little bit more just to this side. What a gorgeous fireplace. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, it's very cute, eh? I really want it. And then there's a little bathroom just off to the side here. And you can see this was involved in the fires, in the big fires of yeah. 2017, I believe. Wow. And all of the woodwork went. That's why the roofs collapsed, because all of the wooden beams would have, all of the beams would have uh, burnt, and then all of the tiles and everything would have fallen in. This is a real treat for me. Yeah. Because I have a thing for abandoned buildings. I actually often explore them on my own. I probably shouldn't, but... No. <laughs> Yeah. They're really fun. Jeez, I mean, every single window has just got the most picturesque view. Look at that. How lucky are we yeah. to have these amazing gadgets to just climb a mountain with? I mean, it's, it's been practically effortless. I mean, on this bike, it's practically effortless because, you know, it's got all of the power and everything. It's got really wide tires, so it can kind of, you know, you don't really feel the bumps and stuff. Poor Livy, on the other hand, she's on the scooter because, uh, well, when you're on the scooter, you can't one hand film the best time because a i don't have to film and b it's really light like i don't have to like push start yeah oh there's something else i wanted to show you guys it's got a turbo button Livy, don't press the turbo button or you will go about 45 miles an hour the scooter Whoa. is super fast okay and over here it's got single or dual so you can change between rear wheel drive or all wheel drive and obviously all wheel drive is going to be amazing for when you're on the sand and stuff so am i in all wheel drive you are yeah okay good yeah and, uh, and then it's got this like really funky little screen on here. I think it's off at the moment. Um, let's just turn that on quickly. I don't know if you can see now because of the lighting, but it's a full color screen. It tells you your speed and your distance and everything. And over here is a voltmeter to tell you how much volts is inside your battery. This yeah. scooter operates, I think on 52 volts. It could be 48 volts, but I'm gonna pop that up on the screen. At the moment it's showing that we got 55 volts. So we got plenty of juice in the batteries, which are just underneath this deck over here and they're inside like some enclosed space. That little flashing light, the, these are the brake lights. So when you brake, it actually flashes. And on the front, we've got some front lights. And uh, yeah, this over here, I must say I'm not too keen of a flaming skull and stuff. <laughs> Livy was saying like, oh, you know, is yeah. that the only one? And there actually are others. So when you get the bike, they actually give you a couple of these and you just peel this one off and then you stick another one on. So um, yeah. 
a skull and flames is not really what I want to see when I think I might, you know, crash or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty nervous about scooters, huh? I am, yeah. Well, I have a balance issue, That's you know. Right. So, yeah. Um, I have ridden it a couple of times on the roads, and I feel fine on the roads, uh, but obviously up in the hills is another story. Livy lives. Yes. It's good to have you back here with your, with your brother. Yeah. You're, you know, the, like the best guy in the world that she's ever met. <laughs> and she's here spending time with him. Yeah. She's super lucky. I mean, this must feel amazing for you. It, it is. I'm starstruck. Exactly. It's like being around a celebrity. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a bit further to go before I take Livy to the secret location. And uh, I mean, look at these trails. It's so nice. But we've got to go around here, all the way around this way, and then all the way back up. I think we're going to get to sort of, I don't know, that point over there. And then we should kind of, I think it's around there where I want to take her. And I'm not going to tell her yet where we're going because it's a surprise. Now, if you see those little stripes on the wall there, those are actually um, marking the routes. So they have all these different walking routes and uh, this is one of them. So this is actually part of like a rota, a rota de marateca, I think. Or no, wait, the rota de gardunia, because this is what the name of the mountain is where we are. And if you search on Google for that, ro uh, rota de gardunia, then uh, you'll probably find it and you'll see it's like a long sort of walk trail that you can go on and you can see all of the stuff that we've been filming in this video. Livy looks so comfortable on these things. Me, I'm completely uncomfortable only because I've probably only ridden them like five times in my entire life, you know, so. And uh, also, if you don't know, I also have a bit of a balance problem. I had a, like a little accident in South Africa. I, I, like, I don't even know how long ago. It was like a while back where I burst my eardrum uh, jumping off a very high rock into some water. Got an infection in my ear and ended up uh, damaging my inner ear. So uh, I haven't really been able to drive a car because I get like serious dizziness in cars. For some reason, on, on e-bikes and bicycles and even running, I'm totally fine. Um, but on things like aeroplanes or going down the escalator, like in a supermarket or something, I just get like severe dizziness and stuff. I know if you look on Google in the Gardunia Mountains, they've got lots of like quite famous rocks and things like that. There's also this one, which I really love over here. It's almost like a nose sticking out, looking out over the lake. Oh, look at all that. So we've come all the way up these trails over here. I'm only out of breath because I've been uh, placing cameras and then we've been cycling past them. And then uh, obviously I have to run down, pick up the camera and run back up. So I'm a little bit out of breath. Yeah, that's the reason. That's... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so I am very happy always on an e-bike going up uh, mountains and stuff like that. I mean, look, I'm riding one hand and holding a camera in the other hand, nice and stable, nice and easy. Livy seems pretty pleased as well. I mean, she's obviously really comfortable on these bikes. Look, there's this big rock I was talking about. How cool is this rock? Millions and millions of years old, huh? Incredible. So these little steps lead up to a viewing point. Miraduro Castello Velo. And, uh, oh, sweet, yeah. It's like a little type of blister beetle or something. And there's still little flowers up here. Although having said that, there's actually still flowers on my farm, which is incredible because it should be really dry. And yeah, from up here, oh. the views are insane. We've got Castellanovo, which is just down here. And in actual fact, if you take this dirt road down, this takes you all the way down to Castellanovo and then there's a beautiful river beach and everything. And that's just in this little valley just through here, I think. And then that's quite nicely sign, sign boarded. It's also in English, so it tells you in Portuguese and in English and gives you a little spiel on exactly what it's about up here. Livy lives, Livy lives is actually what I call her, but I was going to say that Livy lives in Utah in uh, the States. So she's also got some amazing scenery out there. Yeah, it's but, a great place for hiking, very outdoorsy. Yeah. Isn't that where that movie 127 Hours or something was filmed? Or was that in a different, or was that in Colorado or something? Did I see that? I'm not sure. It's the one where the oh, guy yes. has to saw his arm off because oh. he falls inside a cave. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where it was filmed actually. But they got amazing like trails and all sorts of stuff just like this. But obviously looking very, very different. I'm not sure if they have granite down there. I think they have like sandstone and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of orangey landscape. Yeah. I'm going to have to put this helmet back on. It's, I'm so hot, my head is just... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You're carrying, like, Cousin Itz on top of your head from the Adams family. Oh, my gosh. 
it's really steep down here. But actually that's another thing that I wanted to say about that e-scooter is it's got something called regenerative braking where it actually uses the engines or the motors of the of the scooter to slow it down. So you oh, can actually downhill? Yeah. So instead of okay. riding your brakes the whole way down like like you have to do on an e-scooter, you can actually change your setting here where it uses the hub motors and you can set the level of braking as well so that it actually uses the engines to slow you down. So instead of having the throttle on and uh, you know oh, wow. so it's using the be brakes. Like, um kind of a little bit like cruise control um well it's kind of like in a car where like where you're in like first gear and you're going down a hill and you're using the gears of the engine to slow you down okay using that to slow you down okay that's really good because i was very i was a little bit nervous about going downhill exactly because it's so hot yeah and this thing is making my brain boil so yeah if i get dizzy you'll be be fine yeah. and and also it's got really nice brakes these are zoom brakes zoom hydraulic brakes so they're really good brakes nice calipers discs so this is a very safe scooter okay. to be doing this kind of thing on don't you worry Yay! i must say i'm super impressed with this uh, e-bike i'm going to be doing a, well i'm going to be doing a video just on this bike um, pretty soon so if you want to check it out make sure you hit the subscribe button but as you can see i'm just riding with one hand on the handlebars i'm going over like big bumps and stuff it's got these huge tires i mean i've never seen a bike with, with tires this big before these are even wider than like big fat tire bikes 29 inch rims and uh, super comfy so make sure you check that one out and the sun has actually gone behind some clouds which is really good because the higher you get up in these mountains the less and less trees you get or big trees um, I didn't actually realize it was going to take this long to get to where we were going I think we're nearly there yes we are all right so this is uh, where we're we going we've got to go left down this little path okay. So Livy's found this really cool little bug. There's two of them. Really? Yeah, look at that. It's like oh, wow. some crazy little grasshopper thing. I wonder if they're the same, they're the same, but one is male and one is female. Look how incredible these things are. I've never ever seen a bug like that before. They're look like little, tail. little like grasshopper things. One of them's got a tail and then the other one doesn't. Wow. They're huge. They're very pretty. It's starting to get mega steep at this point. I'm just kind of going ahead here um, and uh, Livy's making her way up, but she's still, oh, she's still managing, no problems. Amazing. But yeah, as you can see here, the road's in really bad nick. I'm one hand driving over these big bumps, unfortunately not having any problems. And uh, yeah, this e-bike is taking a bit of strain getting up here. It actually at one stage was saying that it was pushing 900 watts of power. Wow. She made it. I did. Woohoo! Okay. But I kind of wish I had the off road tires because this little bit up here has been a bit. Oh, I'm sure. Scary. But considering that, you, I mean, these are like the kind of tires that you get on like a, yeah. a street bike, you know? This is better than what I had. Both my scooters have slick tires. And those were some serious inclines. I mean, I have no idea how steep that was, but yeah. really steep. But anyway, this is where I wanted to take you oh. the Beluso de Castello Velo. Let me get that helmet off. Oh. Does that feel good? Yes, just some breeze, you know. Yeah. It's like boiling the brain. So if you've ever seen the Adams family, if Livy brushes all of her head forward, she she looks like cousin It. Yes. You know cousin It. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Livs, come and check this out. I think you might have seen it in one of my videos before, but if not, oh no, I haven't. I think you're gonna love it. This is so cool. It's is it big enough for two? It is, yeah. It's beautiful. So this is basically a swing, the Beluso de Castello Velo. And it says Lurisel de Campo. That's the little village which is just down here. How cool is this thing, huh? Lovely. How cool is this? Ah, oh, it's amazing. And it's got the best views of the dam, huh? And a creaky, a creaky, um, a creaky chain. But look at those views. I mean, that is something, huh? It's crazy to think that our farm is just down there. You can actually see it from up here. Where? Uh, I'll, well, I'll show you when we're off the swing. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> it sounds kind of sleepy and grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Livia and I don't really see each other that often. Um, I saw her last year. 
she was in some other videos if you if you look back at last year's season same time last year as well yeah but um before that we didn't see each other for a long time i mean you years and years yeah you left south africa about 25 years ago mm -hmm. i left about 20 years ago mm -hmm. then i came to england and then once i arrived in england she she moved to america <laughs> yeah and uh, then I didn't really see you since you moved to America all the way up until yeah, last year. Because I didn't really have, I was, I was like traveling out of a backpack. I didn't have a lot of money and I just couldn't afford to fly all over the place. I was traveling across America and, yeah, you, and Central America. Yeah, you, you, were like, you were like one of the original van lifers before the whole vlogging van life thing started. Yeah, everyone on the road was just old people and um, they were very surprised to see us. Yeah. There was you, nobody else our age. Yeah, you were like um, doing like, not vlogging, but blogging. So you had like a blog where you were doing stuff. Yeah, there were YouTube and, um, videos, but they've been taken down. Um, ah. They went under my... You know, they weren't mine, so. That's a pity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but, it was fun. Yeah. Because we had a little kid and raised him. It wasn't your kid. It was no. your boyfriend's kid. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, yeah, did everything from the road. Homeschooled him. Wow. Yeah. And then you went to like Nicaragua and you were living on some island somewhere and you were doing In some crazy jungle. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're like a high-flying executive with a fancy job. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah, life life has changed a lot, eh? It has, and I'm very grateful that I can yeah. afford to visit mom. Yeah, miss you, mom. Yeah, and mom. Uh, look, it's your it's it's your two favorite people in the world. Yeah. But apart from Jeremy, of course. You love being the favorite, don't you? Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the the best kid. No, I'm joking. Yeah, the best, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. favorite. Yeah, it's weird. Our lives kind of swap around. So when Livy's like a high flying executive and she's like doing really well. Mm -hmm. Then I'm kind of like just like some dude that lives on a farm and doesn't really have a proper job. Yeah. And uh, and then when I have like a high flying executive job, then Livy's like living in a caravan, like on Ometepe Island or something. <laughs> and uh, or no, you yeah. weren't in a caravan on there, but uh, I was living in a hammock. So it's kind of like our lives kind of switch <laughs> around. So hopefully I don't become a high flying executive again because I can't stand oh, no. doing that. You only want to do it once, really. I think the farm life for me, this is it now. You know. Yeah. This is definitely it. I mean, who doesn't want to retire? Exactly. I, I mean, I've practically re retired. Yeah. I mean, you know, I know that I do have to still like make a little bit of money here and there, but uh, you know. You don't need much out no, here. No, definitely not. Eh? Yeah. Especially when you get given all these cool like e-bikes and <laughs> e-scooters and like yeah. gadgets and stuff like that. It's been wonderful, hasn't it, it? It's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And Ken is such a gadget geek as well. I am. Yeah. He's yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Getting all of these cool oh, things. Oh, I love it, man. I absolutely I am love too, it. so I get a little jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I must come and visit America and see if we can get some gadgets shipped out there. Mm -hmm. and we, we can do some stuff together and then you can keep them. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I'd love that. So one last look at these incredible views. So awesome, man. And then I think it's time for us to head on back. Yeah. So I just want to say a big thank you and shout out to Vala Scooters for giving us this amazing e-scooter. Uh, Livy has had a lot of fun on it. Yes. And, uh, it's been, it's been really awesome. It's gotten us to where we have to go. I also want to say that if you look in the description of this video, if you look at the top pinned comment on YouTube, it's going to have a discount code where you can buy one of these things. You get a big discount, so do check it out. They also have their third year anniversary. So happy they have, anniversary, Vala. Yeah, happy anniversary, guys. And uh, it's basically, they already have a discount running. So you can get a really big discount if you want to buy one of these scooters. Um, you don't have to buy this particular scooter. I think they also have a whole bunch of other ones that are not as powerful. I think they have another one that's even one up on this. So yeah, so definitely check it out. Top pin comment on YouTube. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but there's like a big eagle, eagle. or something. Yeah, it was distracting me. Amazing. It came right over our head. And there's another one just up there somewhere. Oh, wow, look down there. And there's a third one just over there, yeah. Wow. How cool is that? And a fourth one. And a fourth one, yes. Wow. I don't know and if they're this... kind of small. I'm like wondering if they're the babies. I'm not sure, but I don't know if this camera's picking them up. And this... look, there's a fifth one up there. It oh, just man. landed. Yeah. All right, this is where we're going to love you and leave you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, it's the first video that Livy and I have made this year. We're going to be doing tons of videos together. We're going to yeah. be exploring and doing some cool stuff. I think uh, we're going to be doing something a bit more farm life here in our next one. I'd love that. And uh, we definitely need to go for a swim. It's going to be 39 degrees. So I we... wish I could go to a swim today. Yeah, exactly. Well, we, we, yeah, we don't have time. You've got to get back because you've got to do a little bit of work this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I, I basically work from 4 p.m. till midnight, you know, yeah. US hours. Yeah. So. Just so, a little bit. It suits you though, because you only go to bed late anyway. Yeah, so. I'm a night owl. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So this is it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And let us know what you think in the comments below. And we'll see you next week, same time for another episode of Portugal Farm Life. Bye, guys. Ciao.